Here's a quick little tip for you AR-15 guys out there. Here is something I see a lot of the guys posting videos on YouTube uh, doing. So here's AR-15. Scenario is bang, bang, bang. Now you've got the mushy trigger. Now you have to reload. So this is what I see. I'll try and do this from a first person perspective as best as I can without knocking the camera. So bang, bang, bang. See how fast that was? I see a lot of people doing that. They do that little quick Magpul style flip reload super fast and it looks really cool. Really fast reloads. Um, Sometimes under a second. I mean, really fast reloads. There's some guys that really have some talent out there. But there's one problem. There is no way, unless you have super eyesight, that you can ascertain if the rifle is only empty or if there's a malfunction if you just do that. There is no way you can ascertain. Because even if you notice, hey, in that split second of time, yep, bolt's back, there could still be brass in there. And loading a good magazine into a bad gun doesn't do any uh, anyone any bit of good at all. It is what it is. Take your time. I mean, maybe Travis Haley and Chris Costa and those guys, because they do it on a day-to-day -day basis, they can check their chambers like that. And they just got superhuman eyesight, and they can do it ultra, ultra fast every time. And are able to 100% uh, tell if there is a malfunction or if the gun's just empty. But most of us can't. I can't. And a lot of us don't do this on a day-to-day -day basis, and it's not our sole source of income like these guys. So when you're running your AR-15, don't just do a movement for the sake of doing the movement. You get that mushy trigger feedback, actually look and go, yes, it is empty. Then go ahead and take the magazine out and do your reload. Or you can look and go, yes, there is some brass in there, or hey, I did have a failure to extract. Because a possible jam is, you know what, it's your last round and maybe your bolt is locked back on the magazine, but maybe there was a failure to extract. Maybe there's brass in the chamber. So when you load your next magazine and you drop your bolt release, now you've got a double feed. So you need to be able to look and ascertain what's going on. And if you're just doing a fake look or an uber 0.5 second look, you're not doing yourself any favors. And potentially you could waste more time than just taking a second to actually look and go, yep, it's clear, it's empty, reload. So that's just my opinion. I'm just a normal guy. I don't have lightning fast reflexes and my eyesight is just average. So um, maybe I'm behind the curve. But in my opinion, you need to slow down just for a second and actually look at that open port and actually look at the chamber and go, yep, I am empty. Instead of just doing a... 0.5 second chamber check and mag flip because it's fast. So, all right, thanks a lot for watching. As always, stay safe.